Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Chris again with Books to the Beat, Reading and Moving Together. I have a really fun book today to read to you. It's all about the Savannah. The Savannah can be found in Africa, India, South America. And it's sometimes very, very wet on the savanna, lots of rain. And other times it's very, very dry, no rain and lots of sun. So it's very, very hot. And these are some of the animals that live on the savanna. The title of the book is Across the Savanna and it's a Clover Robin book. It's also a pop-up book. Let's see how that works. You know how pop-up books work, don't you? Look at that. What is that? Whoa, is that a lion? What sound does a lion make? Rawr, that's right. My goodness, and lions are one of the most ferocious animals on the savanna. In the early morning haze, the noble lion loves to laze. He swats a pesky fly away, so he can doze in peace all day. I don't think I'd want to meet a lion. No. Oh, and what are these? Yes, these are giraffes. It looks like it could be a mommy giraffe who's very tall and a baby giraffe who's very small. A young giraffe must learn the knack of reaching for a tasty snack. But until she grows a little more, this calf won't forage, only near the floor. So the calf, which is the baby, has to reach down to the ground to get its food. But the mama, the mama can reach all the way up to the trees to eat the leaves. Let's see what else there is. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? Let's take a look at its eyes, yes. That is a hippopotamus. Sometimes they call it a hippo. As the day gets blazing hot, this hippo finds his favorite spot. She'll wade and wallow, crash and roll. She loves the muddy, muddy, muddy watering hole. They like to swim, and I bet this hippo is hot in the savanna and loves to get in the water. That's a big, big mouth. Oh, look at these. What could these be? This clan of meerkats stands up tall to peer above the burrow wall. They seek adventure, food, and fun beneath the hot savanna sun. And look at that. Those meerkats are standing up nice and tall so they can keep an eye out for anyone who might want to come after them because they live under the ground in those holes down here. You can see them right down there and over here. Okay. And so if they're outside, they're kind of worried that something's going to get them. I like those little meerkats. And then, oh, you know what these are. Yes, they're elephants. It looks like the daddy and the baby elephant are squirting water out of their trunk. They're taking a bath. Look at that. Two elephants stop by the pool. They found a great way to keep cool. They dip their feet and splish, splash, splish. A better time cannot be found. Look at that. That would be fun, wouldn't it? When you get hot, I bet that some of you 
like to go swimming, and some of you like to run through the sprinkler at home. And there we are in the savanna. Can you see the animals that we talked about? Can you point to the hippo sitting in the pool of water? Do you see the elephants? How about the giraffe? What about the lion? Mm-hmm. Can you see the meerkats? They're a little bit farther back. Yeah. Did you like that story? I thought that was wonderful. Across the savanna. So now what we know what a savanna is now, don't we? And all the animals that live there. In fact, there's more animals that live there than are in this book. And maybe that would be something for your, you and your family to look up. You could Google it and see what other animals live on the savanna. Now we're going to be doing a dance in our next video. I want you to stick around because it's going to be a dance all about the animals. See you in just a little bit. Bye. Have a good day.